Four days ago, young people from 32 nations converged in London to compete for the most coveted title in the world of modern dance. Since their arrival, their feet literally haven't touched the ground. It's nine o'clock now. We're on the air at eight o'clock tonight. And it's a one-way trip. It's not as if we're recording the show. It's a live show. So at eight o'clock, we've absolutely got to go. As you can see, the set still isn't finished. The set's still being built. Bruno's going to do the choreography. You've all got to listen very, very carefully to what Bruno tells you, because I'd like just to be able to rehearse each number once this morning. And then when we go for the dress run, the dress run has got to be as near to the actual show as we can make it. Yes, know. absolutely. The first thing, there's, I'm sorry, but there's a, the first problem is that we have to change a step, yeah, because the stairs, where we didn't have at rehearsals, are too, too steep. So we can't do the turns on the stairs. So before we start, I have to change a few steps, yeah, so we can adapt the dance routine to this new setup. Can but we go, can we go with that easy. routine now? Yeah. Normally we've got 16 competitors. This week we've got 32. 30, yeah, 32. 32 of you. So it's going to be very, very crowded. We've got to make the best of it. But the most important thing is that you enjoy the show. If you enjoy the show, the viewers, all those viewers coming home on a wet November evening to see you would enjoy the show as well. So go for it. Good luck and make it work. Tonight from the Empire Ballroom in London's Leicester Square, the Malibu World Disco Dancing Championship for 1983. Starring 32 of the world's best disco dancers, your hosts, Lee, John, and Yolanda, and special guests, Imagination, Meza Forte, and Second Image. 32 dancers arrived in the British Isles and today descended on a tiny island precinct in the heart of London's West End, known as Leicester Square. Now, for one magical night, the Empire Ballroom becomes the island of their dreams. Where? 
just fantastic. We carry on a tradition here at tonight at Empire Ballroom as our search for the best disco dancer in the world comes to an end for 1983. In less than an hour, one of the 32 national champions with us will become the fifth holder of the international title. Transported with, with us to this tropical setting to choose a new world champion, our distinguished panel of judges, who are our non-voting chairman managing director of Concord Management and Promotions, Organizers of this championship, Louis Parker. <laughs> Responsible for dance works where rehearsals were held, Benny Gray. <laughs> and a lady whose birthday it is today, the equally lovely and talented songstress, Hayward. Happy birthday to you. Representing our overall sponsor, Malibu, Peter Cox. <laughs> Fashion coordinator of the TV Times magazine, Julian Fitzmorris. <laughs> From County Sound Radio, Britain's top club disc jockey, Steve Walsh. <laughs> Renowned international choreographer of films like Annie, as well as being Britain's number one exercise and dance teacher, Miss Arlene Phillips. <laughs> Woo. Woo. The artistic director of Vidal Sassoon, worldwide official hairstylist for this year's championship, Christopher Brooker. And dubbed the United Kingdom's number one radio disc jockey, Tony Blackman. <laughs> chairman, and, chairman and managing director of H Knitwear and Naughty Clothing, Harry Rogers. <laughs> Each contestant is assessed in three distinctive categories, which are creative dance routine and visual presentation, artistic interpretation of the music, and personality and stage presence. Our judges vote independently by locking their marks into a computer, which adds up the, the score and produces the results. In order to give every competitor ample time to perform a routine, a pre-judging session was held at the nightclub of the year, Middlesex and Hearts Country Club, earlier this week. You at home, 
will now have an advantage over our audience here at the Empire because as the contestants compete individually, the score each received in pre-judging will be revealed on the screen. Dancing now for a place in the next round for our 32 champions, beginning with a representative from Yugoslavia. Just get 
one half of our world contenders. After the break, 16 more young hopefuls in individual competition. And I'm stage second image. All that in part two. So don't go away. Hey, it's Joe. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out my super dope channel, Generation Joe. The only YouTube channel dedicated to the OGs of the internet. Gen X rule and millennials drool. Booyah!